If you've ever noticed cameras when driving down the interstate, it was more than likely the Florida Department of Transportation keeping an eye out for traffic incidents on our roads. The Northwest Florida Sun Guide Center monitors about 300 miles of roadway from Pensacola to just outside of Tallahassee 24 hours a day. News 13's Emily McLeod is live in our studios tonight. Emily, the Sun Guide Center also works closely with local law enforcement to keep the roads safe. Yes, Amy, officials say the people behind monitoring our roads act as the eyes and ears for law enforcement before they arrive to a traffic accident. Because they're able to monitor in real time, they can tell law enforcement how bad a traffic incident may be if there's a roadblock and other helpful information. Another helpful safety tool you'll use by the Northwest Florida Sun Guide Center, the Road Rangers. The Northwest Florida Sun Guide Center is able to monitor 300 miles of roadway right here in this room. We basically provide real-time um, traffic monitoring of all the freeway throughout the, inter, uh, the district. So from Pensacola at the state line all the way to the Madison County line on the other side of Tallahassee. During their shift, each person is responsible for monitoring 60 to 80 miles of highway during peak times. Arterial Operations Manager David Rourke says the Florida Department of Transportation is able to check parts of I-10 and some arterial highways like US-231. We have approximately 300 cameras, um, 50 overhead message boards uh, that provide the, the data to or the information to the traveling motorist uh, to give them a heads up for any congestion, uh, other hazards that they might encounter. However, FDOT doesn't solely rely on technology at the Northwest Florida Sun Guide Center when it comes to keeping the roads safe. And of course, Monday through Friday from uh, 6A to 10P, they're communicating with the road rangers. Rourke says they have a direct connection with the Florida Highway Patrol, which helps them learn of traffic incidents quickly. You know, in, in that case, they would dispatch the road rangers and any other resources that the department may have at its disposal, local uh, maintenance asset managers um, and uh, the maintenance crews that would be able to bring out additional resources, such as a, a trailer full of cones. Rourke also wants to remind drivers they don't have to be in a traffic accident to call a road ranger. If you have a flat tire or need a jump, he says you can dial star FHP to get help from a road ranger. Amy? Good to know.